All right, guys, welcome back into Fox 44 First Edition. I'm joined this morning by Brooke, who's a dietitian with the Woman's Center. And we're kind of talking about healthy snacks because we all love a good heart and we want to make sure that our kids are making healthy options as well. So as we come up on Halloween, she's got some great tips before you take the kids trick or treating as well as some healthy snacks that you can make with them as well. So what do we bring in today? So first, I think Halloween is a great opportunity to talk to your kids about moderation, making sure that they know that foods aren't good or bad, just kind of sometimes or always maybe, um, especially with candy, the excitement's uh, there. And so what we can try to do is make other food exciting as well, so it's not all about the candy. So just some things that we can do with fruit. I made, okay, and I'm not artistic, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> so I, I tried, but if you're hosting a little party beforehand, you could do fun things like little banana ghosts with some chocolate chips. I made some spider tarantulas with grapes. These are supposed to be mo monster mouths with apple slices and peanut butter and pistachios. These are cute. So um, they had a ton of cute ideas online. You could make witch's fingers with carrot sticks. So the internet, fortunately, is a great place for, for tricks. And the American Heart Association has some good tips, um, excuse me, tips as well. Mm -hmm. And then if you're handing out candy at your house, think about some other things that you can do as well. So uh, kids love these fruit and vegetable pouches, oh, these yeah. little cheddar bunnies or goldfish crackers. I love these. These are pretzels that are shaped like bats. And this is another thing that I found. It's little granola bites. And uh -huh. what I like about these is that they're very allergy friendly. You don't have to worry about nuts or chocolate or anything like that. I decorate these little mandarin cups with jack-o-lantern faces so tons of things that you can hand out and then of course a lot of parents want to know what do you do after whenever you're stuck with all of this Halloween <laughs> candy so you could always barter with them and so maybe do like a candy trade-off so you pay me in candy I pay you in money we go do something fun you buy oh. a toy so I love I that love, idea I do love that I'm thinking in my head like I could see someone going okay I'll give give me two butterfingers and you can stay up 15 minutes past your butt bedtime oh my god <laughs> <laughs> my kid would love that. <laughs> he would love that. And then something else I thought was super cute were science experiments with candy. Oh. So one that I found, I don't know if y'all can, I just made like a little template online, but one of the experiments was sink or float. Mm -hmm. And so you just take a bowl with water and then you just, your kid makes the prediction, will it sink or will it float? And you drop the candy in and then see what happens. Oh nice, so maybe like a lollipop might float or like a piece of chocolate might sink, just see what happens. Exactly. I like that. Another good tip that I think uh, I talked to you about in the break was uh, to make sure that your kids have a meal before they actually go trick or treating. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. And the American Heart Association has some good uh, recipes on their website. Personally, I'm making good chili that I'm going to grate some hidden vegetables in. <laughs> so keep them full. And then, of course, always try to walk if you can. If you have a neighborhood mm -hmm. with sidewalks, make it family friendly and fun and get your kids out and about instead of driving to the houses. That's all very fabulous advice. Thanks for spending the morning with us, Brooke. And folks, Thank you can you. get more information online and we'll give you a link to where you can find more ideas to make some fun, fruit friendly, family friendly ideas. And of course, some of those recipes that Brooke was talking about as well.